So now you have to figure out a little bit more about you. You, you think that we're almost there. We're not quite there yet, OK? You have to figure out your values. Are you a person who is interested in money, and you want a lot of money, and it doesn't matter how stressful you are? Or do you want something that's less money, but you enjoy? You see, personally, I would dream a little bit and say, what would I do every day that if they asked me to be there 12 hours a day, I wouldn't care? If you care, that means you're going to start coming in late. You're going to be going home early. You're going to be looking for excuses. You're going to be playing with your cell phone in between time. You do not like this job, but maybe it pays a lot of money. And then what's going to happen afterwards? You're going to go outside and maybe drink a little and use or spend money shopping or do something that you're going to get away from this job. If you have your values where I really want to do what I dream about and it may be less money, Eventually, the money comes in because you're so good at it, because you're willing to give it your full force. Most of us will say, well, you know, I don't have the luxury. I'm a student. I'm young. I don't, have, I don't even have anything on my resume. I don't even know what to sell. Remember, you're selling three things, and every job has them. There's your communication skills. Can you write? Can you speak? If you can't, guess what? You're still in college. Take some writing classes. Take some speaking classes. Get a little more comfortable with those, because they will never go away. You'll always need to talk, and you'll always need to write. Technical skills. You know, most technical people shortchange themselves in how they describe what they do on a technical level. Talk about it. Don't assume just because the person maybe is in computer science that they understand what you're doing. Maybe they're in filming, and they understand what you're doing. Don't underestimate the person in front of you may not know the least bit about it. And they may be the HR person who you're talking to. So make sure that you let them know what you do on a technical level and speak proud about it. Okay. And then last thing is customer service. Look, I can teach you anything you want in life within two weeks, unless you're a surgeon. Okay. But can I teach you personality? You have to be a happy person on the job. Most people, as we get older, we get so stuck in ourselves. Oh, I don't want somebody younger uh, telling me what I can and can't do. You just remain very happy. For us, as we get older, we have to get a nice little frown that comes with part of the package. So how do you undo this frown? You smile. You smile because a smile anyway is contagious and anyway brings p smiles on other people's faces. And it does make you lo look younger. And it actually brings up your voice, by the way, when you smile. And so you have to smile, especially as you're getting older. When you're younger, you don't have that frown. So it looks like you're already smiling. And when you're younger, people will do more things for you. So take advantage of being a little bit younger because people will give you secrets. As you get older, you are banking on your experience and growing. And so that's the three skills that you have. I don't care if you've been out of a job for a long time. I don't care if you're a mom who's been out of a job for three, four years to take care of your kids, and you go, well, I've been out of the market. Guess what? Kids don't allow for breaks. You're a 24-7 person. So sell that, because you can still speak. You can st still have technical skills. You still have people skills. That's what you are selling. Mm -hmm.